So uh, the third thought related to social work is negligence. Ne negligence. Uh, and negligence. Negligence is the omission to do something which is reasonable, man guided upon those regulations which ordinarily regulate the conduct of human affairs. Will do or do something which reasonable and prudent man will not have done. Negligence is when you like you ignore something. Maybe you ignore to follow some certain uh, procedure or aspect, some certain codes. When you ignore to follow some certain laws, no, knowingly, knowingly. Oh, uh, under negligence, we have two types of negligence. As taught, they consist of the duty to care. One is the duty to care. the duty to care. And the second one is breach of duty. First one is duty to care. That second one is breach of duty. On duty to care is the duty to take reasonable care to avoid act or omissionable, reasonable, as likely to cause injury to your neighbor. A neighbor in law is a person who is so close and directly affected by your act that you ought reasonably to have him in your contemplation. So we all have a duty to care towards one another. Sindio. That is why you, you don't let your right to enjoy your rights, the way you are enjoying your rights, should not interfere with the other part. The other person, the person who is next to, to you, because you have that duty. As much as yes, I'm enjoying my my freedom to movement. I, I should I shouldn't step on other pe people. All as I move, I shouldn't stop others from mo from moving. I have a right to stand here and do as I wish, Sindio. But my right to stand here should not block someone else from path from passing or from using the path. The path. So you have that duty. You owe it to the society, to the society, and you owe it to your immediate neighbor. Yes, I have a right to enjoy music, but my enjoy me enjoying the fact that I'm enjoying music. That right of me enjoying that music should it interfere with my neighbor's right to to enjoy his silence? Should it? It shouldn't, right? That is duty to care. Okay. So you should always be conscious of other people. Hello, what's up? Breach of duty. Breach of duty. It is important to distinguish between duty and care. And standards of care. The duty of care, as well as seen in the answer, whether the defendant was under any legal obligation towards the plaintiff. The standard of care, on the other hand, is yardstick, by which the defendant's conduct is measured. It is answer it answers the question whether the defendant did, did what reasonable man would have done in the circumstances. Thus the standard of care required of every person is that of reasonable man. The duty to care is said to be breached when the defendant fails to exhibit the standards of care required of him. So there is a measure. There is some measure that the society places on a standard person. The measure of care. The measure of care. It's like the measure of responsibleness. You, you are responsible to A, B, C, A, B, C, B. Be it to society, to yourself, and to everyone. You owe it. So, when you go out there, maybe you are doing your job. You are doing your job. Mm-hmm. I see you. Okay, you're doing your job. The job that you are doing, I'm not even maybe a customer or a client of that uh, uh, that company, but there is that duty of care, of care and responsibility. I come 
and you're supposed to be to serve me. Hello, Sindio. Or you're supposed to give me directions. You're the one in the station. You don't have to give me directions. Sasa, it is not part of your job description. But I need directions. And you're on the station. There is that duty, there is that responsibleness that we expect you to conduct in. Sasa, there is that way. Maybe I'm, I'm supposed to go to an area where there, is, there are two parts. I'm supposed to pick one that is safe. They say, you are the one on the station. You're not obligated to tell me. But it, because it's not part of your job description. You're not a police officer. You're not the customer care. But you are in the station and you know. You know, if I go through this path, I'm going to meet the danger. But if I go through this path, I'll be safe. I'll be safe. So you have that duty to inform me. You're like, my friend, yes. Uh, don't use that path. Sasa. You're not obligated to stop me from using it, but you have that responsibility. You have that care to tell me, my friend, is that path is not good. It's not good. Tafadali use these other different path. If I chose to go that path and you had to inform me, that, then that's all. That's okay. But what if I come, I ask you, and then you guide me directly to that path, the one that has danger. And then something happens to me. What is that? That is? So I can sue you. And when I sue you, the court is going to look at it. Did this guy act in a manner reasonable to a standard man? You know, the society expects you to be, to, to be responsible to some extent. Was he responsible to that extent? If he was not, so be it. If they are kids, if it's kids, you realize this part has imminent danger, this other part they safe. And these are kids coming. People who are under, under age. You are an adult, you are the one at the station. It is, yes, it is not even your, in your job description to stop kids or to give direction to anyone. You, you are doing your own job, your own job. But these are kids who may use this part that has danger. You are obligated or you have a responsibility to stopping those kids. Even if it's by force. Even if it's by force. By force, you are obligated. You have a responsibility to stopping those kids and pointing them towards the right direct direction. What happens if they use that path and you are there, and then they get into danger? What happens? You are equally resp responsible. That is breach of duty. You have that duty to the society. You have duty to the humanity. You have duty to your neighbor, to your persons, and to everyone.